People often ask, how do I check my rank on Google? So what we're asking is you enter a keyword such as accident attorney and does your website rank number one, number two, number three on Google, either in the local pack or in the organic search results. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple tips and tools to check your local rank on Google. Let's get started. Okay, so I built out a resource list. You can get that in the YouTube description. And what we're trying to understand is how to check your rank on Google and especially your local rank. So rank for uh, a search like personal injury lawyer or pizza in which you vary based on the user location. So as we all know, as someone drives around a city on their mobile phone and they enter pizza, they're going to see different uh, vendors or websites rank based on their physical location. So that's our task. Now, how do we do this if we're sitting in our office and we don't want to get in our cars, right? Who wants to do that? So that's the objective. All right, so the first way to do this, which is kind of the easiest way and just kind of a simple check, this is a quick check, and this is really useful for cities. It doesn't really work for zip codes, and that's just to enter the keyword plus a city name. And I'll use this example of the walk-up law firm in San Francisco, just kind of for an example. No, no particular reason why I'm using them as the example. All right, now when you do this and you first do this, you want to make sure, and this is just a general best practice, you want to turn off your private results on Google. This prevents Google from sort of changing the search results that it shows you based on past behavior. And I've got a link in there for you to turn that setting off on Google. You can also use incognito mode. All right, so what do you do? Simplest thing to do is go to Google and type in your keyword in this example, let's use the word accident attorney, and then your city name. Now, when you type a city name into Google, it's going to override your actual physical location. So I am right now in Tulsa, Oklahoma. It doesn't matter if I type in San Francisco, I'm going to see results as if I was in San Francisco and I hit enter. All right, then I'm going to ignore the ads and then I'm going to look at the local packs. So you can see here we don't rank in the local pack. So Harris would be one, Sally Morn would be two. Uh, J. Jill, however you say that would be number three, and then we rank number one in the organic. So you always have the local pack and the organic on local searches, and you want to look at both of those. So that's your rank. Now let's say you wanted to drill into the local pack a little bit more. You can click there and you can see do we rank at all in the local pack. And here we are ranking about number eight or nine in the local pack. Now that's not a very good ranking uh, because most consumers are just too lazy. They look at the top three. So local pack, you want to be in the top three. We don't rank. Regular organic, we do rank. Now, this has some problems because San Francisco is a pretty big city, and this is sort of a, an all-in-one purpose search. Now, it doesn't mean it's not valuable because consumers will do that search, and if they put in accident attorney San Francisco, it, it tends to override their physical location. So that's method one. That's quick and dirty, not perfect, but very easy to do. Method number two is to use the Bright Local tool. So this is a free tool from a vendor and just love the tool and I've got a link for you. And this allows 10 free searches per day. So you can open this tool up. So I'm gonna open the tool up and then here's where you would put your search term. So I'm gonna put in here accident attorney and here's where I'm not gonna put in San Francisco, Walnut Creek, Oakland, whatever. I'm just gonna put in what's called the short tail search. And then I'm going to enter my location. So here I can put in here San Francisco, California, and I can hit get search results. And so this tool then spoofs to Google my location. So now I'm seeing results as if I were in San Francisco for the short tail. And you can see here what you see is a little different. So we see different people here in the local pack. And then do we rank at all? We rank number two, it looks like, in the organic. And that's for the search accident attorney with location San Francisco. Now, what else can you do with this tool, which is really good, is you can enter in a zip code. So let's put in here zip code 94111. So you have to know your zip codes. Um, on my uh, search dashboard, I have some tools that'll help you see what the zip code maps are. So I know that 94111 is a San Francisco zip code. 
I hit check search results. I hit enter. And then now it's as if I'm in zip code 94111 and you can see that the results have changed in the local pack. We still don't rank. And you can go down here and we rank number one. So we're, we're doing pretty well. If, if this were my client, we're doing pretty well in our organic rank. We're not doing so well in the local pack rank. So long and short here is bright local, 10 searches per day. You can search by zip code, which is very useful, or by city. Now I do wanna show you and I should probably go back and put this in the uh, links, but there's a lovely tool called Zip Code Finder and Boundary Map. Gotta love the name. Put in the zip code 94111, hit Find Zip Code, and this is show you a map of wherever you are, and you can easily see the related zip codes. So you don't have to ever leave your office. You can see the zip codes in San Francisco. You can use the tool. You can measure your rank manually in that way. So that's uh, technique number two. Tech num technique number three is to use the Google Ads preview tool. So I'm gonna assume that you have an AdWords account. So you'd go to ads.google.com. Once you're signed in, go to the tools menu, go to add preview and diagnosis. Now you don't have to actually be running ads to use this tool. You just have to have a functioning AdWords account. Now it's very similar to the Bright Local tool in that you can enter um, a keyword, accident attorney or bike accident attorney. Let's try a different keyword. Let's try bike accident attorney and let's change our location and let's put our location to 94111, which is San Francisco zip code. And ignore the ad is not showing because we're not running ads. And then you can go and you can see what does it look like on the phone? And you can see here that we rank number one organically, but we don't rank in the local pack. Now you can also do that for the city, San Francisco. And you can again see this, and this is the more generic search. It's a little bit uh, goofy because the location's more specific than that in general. And you can see we rank here organically. You can also change the device to uh, desktop and you can see what it looks like on the desktop. So the Google Ads Preview and Diagnosis tool, a name only a mother could love, allows you to change those keywords and change your location and just see the world as if you're getting in your car and driving around. So very useful tool. Uh, again, you don't have to have a Google account or you don't have to have running ads to use this tool. Uh, just ignore the ad is not showing. You do have to sign up with a credit card and all that rigmarole to get access to this tool. All right, so wrapping up, if your objective is to see, you know, how do I rank on a localized search, you know, pizza, attorney, uh, divorce lawyer, massage therapist, um, you know, uh, fitness coach, those are all localized searches. Tactic one is your keyword plus your city name with your private results turned off. Tactic two is the bright local tool. Tactic three is the Google Ads preview tool. And at the end of this exercise, you now have a way of looking at local search results from the convenience of your desktop office. So happy local searching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, subscribe to the channel and any questions in the YouTube description below.